Okay, this is Jane from England. Hello. And Jane was a nurse and a midwife in England and would like to know her impressions about this little mummy that we're looking at here. Yes. Please. Yeah, so I would um, say that it, it looks more newborn. Um, the proportion of the head to the body is also sort of newborn um, uh, a ratio, mm -hmm. if you like. The skull is very, very thin. It's almost like eggshell. But if you see the fontanelle where the sutures join of the skull, right. that's the um, the size of in proportion to the skull of a newborn. Um, so um, when the baby's in utero and, and mum's in labour, and the the midwife examines the, the mum to see whereabouts the baby is, mm -hmm. that's what the uh, that's what they're actually feeling for when they're examining to see which position the baby's in. So the the fontanelle is where the, the four skull bones, the sutures, join together. Um, they don't join until the baby's about two years old. So mm -hmm. although you said that the, they think this may be about around two years old, the skull would suggest otherwise. Um, that that would, looks far more like a newborn skull to me. Okay, but is the body and head not much bigger than you would imagine for a newborn baby? It doesn't baby? look human. Mm -hmm. um, the eye sockets are way too big. Oh, okay. um, the back of the skull, the occipital bones, they, they look too wide and, and elongated at the back. Mm -hmm. um, and it would be an extremely big newborn baby. However, it looks like a newborn in, in the, you know, with the, uh, the sutures. It does look like it's had teeth. Um, some babies are born with teeth, although it's very rare, and if they are born with teeth, it tends to be uh, the bottom two, right at the front, if they do have any teeth at all. Oh, really? So, the fact that it's got, like, fangs uh -huh. is, is, is not, it's not, it's certainly not common um, in humans, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't look human to me, it doesn't look like a, a newborn baby. Not a newborn Homo sapiens sapiens. No, no. How about with the arm bones? The the bones, um, they're quite. F it's difficult to tell, isn't it, because of the age. They look quite brittle. Mm -hmm. um, in in newborn uh, humans, your bones are very soft and malleable. Um, they look very brittle and quite thick. Mm -hmm. So again. That wouldn't suggest uh, human. The eye sockets are way too big to be human, and the forehead is too high. Um, even with um, when some new, but when babies are born, depending on um, how they've been born, some babies' heads look elongated when they're born. Right. But the skull isn't elongated. It's just that the the sutures have crossed over to help the baby actually um, deliver. Uh -huh. um, so. Although they might look a little bit elongated when they're first born, it's not that the skull is that shape, it's just that they've crossed over and within 24 hours, it's a normal shaped round skull that we expect to see. That's not moulding from delivery, that skull is that shape. Um, you can see it's not that the skull bones have crossed over and it's pushed it that way. It's uh -huh. all, the bone itself is long, very long from the fontanelle, the front fontanelle, to the the bridge of the nose, mm -hmm. is is almost twice as long as a as a human baby. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, so in your estimation, <clears throat> we're not looking at a baby Homo sapiens sapiens. No, no. definitely not. So uh, that that's not a that's not a baby, but uh, but also I wouldn't say it's even a two year old uh -huh. um, Homo sapien because the the eye sockets, the shape of the head. And then again, it's the anomaly of the fontanelle. Um, you wouldn't have that on a two-year-old. Right. Very strange, very interesting. Thank you, Jane. Mm.